Is the updated Qualia mine even better than the original formula? Now I've been testing and researching the new formula for the past month and what I've learned about it may surprise you. Let's talk about it. Hi friends and welcome to your Inceptions YouTube channel. My name is Greg Agostin Carr and I am the creator of this channel where we cover everything from brain supplements to psychedelics. If that interests you then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Now, for those who are new here, Qualia Mind has been one of my favorite nootropic stacks in the past years due to being the most comprehensive and advanced stack on the market. It was developed by a group of experts at the Neurohacker Collective Company, now renamed to Qualia Life, which I even visited in the past to learn firsthand about their R&D process. However, the original formula was getting slightly dated, so it didn't really surprise me when I heard that there is an update coming soon. But when I got the product and I checked the formula, I was completely shocked. Honestly, I had no idea they would change the formula so much from the original one. So what are the changes that they made and why? And what was my experience with the new product? So I was really surprised when I noticed that the new formula contains 32 ingredients, which makes it even more complex than before. Now they have removed quite a few ingredients from the formula and they added many to it. So it took me quite some time to figure out all the changes and to decide whether they make sense or not. Now let's check the main differences between the products. Firstly, they removed a few ingredients such as artichoke extract, tubermine, phenylalanine and coleus forcicoli, which in my opinion makes total sense because their contribution to the effects was very small. They also removed uridine and mucuna prurians, which could have been removed due to the potential side effects they can cause, especially when taken with various drugs. So that kind of makes sense to me, um, even though I kind of like both of the nootropics. Now, on the other hand, they also removed Bacopa monieri, one of the most potent adaptogens, which to me doesn't make a lot of sense because this is a very powerful nootropic. But that's not such a big deal because they have added quite a few ingredients instead. Besides some vitamins and magnesium, I mainly focused on the newly added nootropics such as Sabroxy, Lion's Mane, Saffron and Nutricog, with the G at the end. Firstly, I'm very excited to see Lion's Mane Mushroom in the formula. This is one of the most potent medicinal mushrooms on the market that supports cognitive performance and helps with neuroregeneration. It is for sure one of my favorite nootropics on the market. I was also quite positively surprised to see Saffron in the formula as well. Now, Saffron uh, has shown positive results in human trials, particularly for mood enhancement and mild to moderate depression. Now, research also suggests cognitive benefits, including improved memory and reduced age-related cognitive decline. However, I'm not so sure about some other compounds that were added to the formula. The first one is Nutricog, which is a cognitive support band that combines Terminalia chibule fruit extract and Boswellia serrata extract, each with properties believed to support brain health. Now, Terminalia is known for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, and Boswellia serrata is mainly recognized for its potent anti-inflammatory effects, particularly beneficial for joint and cognitive health. Combine these extracts in Nutricog aim to provide neuroprotective benefits, supporting focus, mental clarity, and even memory. However, to be very honest, even though I've been researching the tropics since 2015, this is the first time I came across these two compounds, so it took me quite some time to analyze them. Now, what I've learned is that they have been traditionally used, but we obviously lack quality human research about them. Now, what also confused me was the Polygala tenufolia. Very limited human studies suggest cognitive and mood benefits, often focusing on memory, anxiety, um, and neuroprotection. Now, many studies remain preclinical and suggest potential benefits on neurotransmitters like dopamine and acetylcholine. However, these compounds lack quite some human research, so we don't understand yet how will they impact brain health in the long term, but the initial results seem promising. So that got me thinking for a bit. Now, as you can see, there are massive changes in this new formulation. Many ingredients were removed and many were added. Now, I'm obviously a big fan of such an optimization, but it got me thinking, why would you remove so many compounds that even yesterday you said they were all just amazing and now they're all just gone? And why would you add at least two other research compounds to the formula? Well, honestly, it's a bit confusing to me. I think if they removed fewer ingredients and just added one or two, like Lion's Mane, for example, that makes more sense to me. 
But on the other hand, with so much ongoing research, maybe their team felt the need to make this bigger change because they firmly believed in this new compound even more. Well, it's probably just that. Now, besides those massive changes, the dosages of ingredients were adjusted and some ingredients are now of an even better quality, which honestly doesn't really surprise me. So what's my verdict about the formula? And do I like the changes? Well, before I answer that, let's talk about my experience with this updated formula. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below and subscribe to the channel. So I've been testing the new formula for a few weeks and I was quite impressed by the results. Now, I started the test by taking three capsules per day, which gave me a mild boost of energy and focus that lasted for about two hours. It was okay, but nothing special. However, I was way more impressed by the effects of six capsules, which is also the recommended daily intake. Now, the six capsules gave me a much stronger boost that lasted for at least four hours, if not longer, but the effect was controllable, meaning I didn't get anxious or nervous like I get when I drink an energy drink but I was able to stay in the flow and get very productive. Now, during my test, I didn't notice the effects getting stronger from day to day, but that's because I've been taking tropics for the past nine years or so, so I already perform at a very, very high level. However, most people will likely notice the effects getting stronger after a few weeks of use, so you may be able to decrease the dosage after a month of use, for example. Now, if I try to compare the effects of the previous version, I didn't notice much of a difference and I think this is quite normal. Now, the main difference will happen in the long term and not after a few weeks of use. By the way, have you tried the new formula and noticed a difference in comparison to the old one? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, having said this, if you like the previous version of Quality Mind, you will love this one as well. And if you didn't like the old one, then you can still try um, the new one, but don't expect a massive difference in the short term effects. Now, is there anything I really didn't like about this new formula? Now, I'll get back to that in a second. Just before I do, let me share with you what's the optimal dosage and how to avoid potential side effects. By the way, are you on the lookout for the best nootropics to boost your brain performance, but don't know where to start? Take a look at our free nootropics quiz below to get personalized recommendations that will be the perfect choice for you. So, according to Quality Life, the optimal daily dosage is three to six capsules, which is a bit less to five to seven capsules like in the older version. Now, this is not a massive improvement, but definitely a mild one, especially if you are going to stay on the three capsules per day. Now, trust me, after taking so many capsules each day for many years, every capsule reduced helps a lot. Regarding the potential side effects or issues with the formula, such as a headache or stomach pain, I suggest you take the capsules in the morning with or after food. Now, feel free to experiment a bit, but I'd recommend starting with a lower dosage and continuing from there up. Okay, before I share the price and my final verdict, let's talk about the pros and the cons of this updated nootropic stack. First, the pros. Now, it has even more ingredients than before. The formula is even stronger than before. You need to take fewer capsules for the same effect. And the price hasn't really changed much. And last but not least, now it comes in a glass bottle, which makes it even more premium than before. So, how about the cons? Well, there are still a few new under-researched compounds in the formula. With newly added vitamins and minerals, it's even harder to combine Qualimind with other supplements that you may take. Taking six capsules for an optimal effect is still quite a lot. So, what's my final verdict about Qualiamind? Should you avoid it, consider it, or should you just go to the store and buy it? Well, there's no doubt that Qualiamind has been improved and it is now even more advanced as before. It contains some of the most potent nootropics of the highest quality. There are many branded ingredients in the formula, which are very rare to find in other similar products. With the slightly outdated design of the bottle, the product seems even more premium as before. So, if you're searching for an all-in-one nootropic stack that will provide the short and the long-term effects, then you should just go to the store and buy it. At $39 for the first month and then $139 from there on, it's hard to get a better product. And you can use my discount code below for an even better deal. But if you're like me and you want to have a complete control of every, every vitamin, mineral and nootropic you take, then Qualia Mind is probably just a bit too complex for everyday use. Since I've created my own mushroom and adaptogenic drink named Magic Ruti that I drink daily as part of my morning routine, I stopped taking many traditional tropics in capsules because I just prefer drink and I feel much better after it. So for people like me, Qualia Mind is still great for occasional use, 
but I'll stick to magic routine as my daily tropic. Now to learn more about it, check out my next video up here. Thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon again. Stay well.